I have two very uh, opposing, I guess you could say. I don't know if it's opposing because I'm not trying to be a hater or anything. But So, as far as uh, I am concerned, my understanding of the Irish-American heritage is that the... Um, the Irish American female uh, moved uh, to the Americas to uh, work, and they didn't. They ended up just doing like cleaning, a lot of cleaning jobs, and but but they weren't known for like uh, trying to find men. Like they they moved to the Americas and worked for themselves as like mates. And then, like, the Irish men created the, the police force. And, um, and then if you, like, go back to Ireland itself, from what I understand, Ireland itself was actually um, a... Sorry, I think I just passed a cop and I didn't want to think I was, I heard him think I was on the phone. But Ireland was like a slave uh, trade epicenter in the world at, at one point. And just a bunch of trading occurred on that eye, on, in that space. And that's why like St. Patrick is important because he, he's known for freeing the slaves, um, like, one of the things, that, this is, like, the other thing, like, with, like, one of the, one of the forms of, uh, I guess, slave labor that the Irish had to go through was the people that were conquering them, were trying to conquer them, would make them build roads to nowhere. They would just have them build a road and then just have it have a dead end and then just have it. And I am not kidding you. I have a, like, thing where I, I do not like wasting my time. Like, I don't, I don't, and, I, and half the time, it's like I waste my own time. It's, no, it's not, not anybody's fault or anything, but I do have this weird personality trait where, like, I feel like, like, I, like, I have to be practical, and I have to, like, be, um, e economical with my, with my time. Like, I like to be able to cover as much as I can, but, but well, too, you know? And I don't know, I, I could attribute that to having to have had to build a road at some point to nowhere. Um, but with my, my family crest... Well, I find I found out that uh, the family that I family tree that I come from, rest in peace, little raccoon. Um, God bless him. They're uh, they have a tendency to have been kind of bloodthirsty, like fucking bloody warriors and I have a huge interest in studying peace but I'll tell you I fantasize about uh, like boxing and even like when I dance sometimes like I, I view dance as like a form of like bat like I would rather like dance battle it out than than have a gunfight which is, you can attribute, not to get sidetracked, but you can attribute this to the five of wands, this example of healthy competition versus unhealthy competition. So like the clan that I come from, that my family line comes from, has the five of wands in reverse, has an unhealthy competition, like a bloodlust winning at all costs, even if it hurt, you know, even if it hurts themselves. And then, but the upright, of that is uh, the upright five of wands, the healthy form of competition, would then be engaging in something like a dance battle rather than like going to, to into a crazy war, bloodthirsty war. 
and that might be a like a, an example of like evolution in the sense of like a family heritage like and breaking curses or you know um, you know breaking certain habits that you know some pride themselves on like some you know in some cultures like dying in war is like a great honor you know and so like if you come from that kind of culture you're gonna have a little bit of a warrior's uh, you know streak where you want to fight for what you believe in and um, so I don't know so the Irish Americans you know the we just had St. Patrick's Day I actually once was drinking at a bar in New York and I drank with a man named Patrick uh, and he was uh, Irish and he told me that I had I would I just drink had drank in his uh, Irish grandfather under the table and I felt I had accomplished my drinking goals in life and I pretty much quit drinking pretty soon thereafter once that guy told me that but I really genuinely felt like I was like accomplishing something and a, a real Irish person was telling me I was out drinking a real Irish person um, my drink of choice was whiskey I used I used to drink whiskey like water I loved it uh, but I don't drink it anymore. In the past four years, I have had, I can recollect, two times when I've drank. Once was in New Orleans, and once uh, I had a few Guinnesses for my breast milk to help my breast milk. Um, I heard that that was good. And Guinness, by the way, is from Ireland. Um, so, yeah. The Irish heritage, the Irish Americans, uh, my joke is, uh, what's the way to an Irishman's heart, and, uh, that's, that's making potatoes, and what's the way to an Irish woman's heart is, uh, give her something to clean, thank you for listening.